Hey guys, Tyler Shane, TS Studios here, and today, since it's getting close to Halloween, I figured I'd make a video showing you guys some tips and tricks on how to make a zombie movie. So let's get started. Okay, second most important thing to a zombie movie, except for the actual zombies, is the guns. So there's a variety of different guns you can use. You can use, uh, you can build your own prop guns, like, uh, this, uh, is an Uzi that I built a uh, wood PVC and spray painted it black. You can also use airsoft guns and wrap uh, duct tape around the tip, but if you do do that, tell people what you're doing if you're going to be around people so that you don't get the SWAT team called in on you. The last one that you can use and you really need to tell people if they're going to be around you is a replica gun made out of metal and uh, wood cocks just like a real gun and shoots like one but doesn't actually shoot. So, okay, yeah. next what your uh, next most important thing will be the set. Now there's a bunch of different sets you uh that you could use. Uh but if you're gonna go for more of the like uh out in the country uh stranded kind of zombie movie then these are a uh, couple of sets idea you might you might use. Okay, this is a good set right here. Uh, just, uh, grassy fields surrounded by woods, and a few dumpsters, and actually a dirt road going out. So, yeah, this is, this is one example of a good, this is another good set for, if you're going for the stranded look, uh, survival look, uh, off into the woods. This is another good set. And lastly, here's one more set that would be pretty good kind of like the other one, but less thick woods. So this one you could do more running around, but still got some thick bushes for zombies to hide in. Okay, now uh, another important thing would be props. And uh, so I'm going to show you a couple of ideas of props and a quick run through of how I build gun props. Okay, now what I do is I cut PVC for the barrels. I have different size PVCs. This would be about the size for a rifle barrel. And I have smaller sizes, uh, like this one. And then again, I have these, uh, these really big ones. This would be about grenade launcher size. Uh, anyways. So, yeah. Now I also have wood. Use wood. This this is going to be a handle for a gun, and you see I've already sanded down the edges, make it more rounded, more perfect. A board this size would probably be part of a stock on a rifle, uh, and I uh, cut it all with uh, this saw right here. And uh, see ya. Okay, now uh, you don't just need gun props; you need actually props. Now, if you're going for the apocalypse, uh, stranded style, like we've been talking about most of this video, you might want old pieces of machine machinery like this. Just be laying around in the video to make it more, uh, rustic and abandoned. So, another thing you could look for is stuff you might actually use, props you might uh, actually use, like old gas cans. Say you're stranded and you need gas for a car or something to escape, well old gas cans like this that have kind of some marks on them and stuff would is perfect. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, add muzzle flashes and sound effects to your videos. Now the video editing software I'm using is not free, but if you're going to make professional videos, you need a professional editing software. So yeah, you're going to have to buy one. What I'm using is Corel Video Studio Pro X3. It's an awesome software and it's not very expensive. So, uh, I would recommend this to anyone. Okay, now what I've got right here is just a clip of me shooting a shotgun. All I did was make a little kicking motion. So, anyways, what you want to do is drag the little marker to wrap when the shot starts. right there. Okay, now you want to drag a little muzzle flash in. 
Now, I download these from the internet and make the background transparent. If you don't know how to do that, then there's plenty of tutorials on how to do it. So just look up a tutorial. I'm not going to go through the process of showing you all this just to save some, I'm going to save time. Now you want to make it last only like one millisecond. Now, you want to find a sound effect. Once again, I just downloaded from the internet and drag it in here. This is a 10 gauge shotgun sound effect. Oops. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. And, uh, you're done. That's how you make a shot. So, here's the end result.